Hey yo, what's up gamers? I'm here with my buddy Marcus. Hey, We're gonna man. be talking about the last night or yesterday's Minecraft Live, which I thought was awesome. Oh but um, there's a lot of things. So um, which which mob did you vote for? I voted for the LA actually. Uh, obviously, Let's the o <laughs> the only choice, Let's right? <laughs> I, I, it's, okay, one, it's so cute. Two, Definitely. The mechanics for it are really cool. Like it brings you an item that you can find. And three, no blocks are like kind of like underutilized and I feel like with like redstone and stuff you can like really automate some really cool mm -hmm. stuff with the LA's and like really cool game mechanics and everything. I think it's awesome if you set up a little like three by three area with a note block and you have hoppers in that area and if the yeah. LA drops it on there while you're mining yeah. then you're able to like pick up all your cobblestone without needing to drop oh, it into yeah. a chest yourself. Yeah. So LA's are definitely gonna revolutionize yes. like mining Automation. and like farms and stuff yeah. like that. So naturally, I LA just seems so useful. So, I know. Uh -huh. The things you could do with it is so vast, and mm -hmm. it can be applied to like almost any mechanic. Like not almost any mechanic, but like so many. A lot of a lot, lot of really uh -huh. vast mechanics in the game. What, uh, what was your second choice? Uh, probably the glare as well. The glare, Mostly because uh, like I don't really see a use like myself mm -hmm. for copper golems. A copper button would be cool for building which I know they said yeah. that they would have added in the copper button if they added the copper golem. Yeah. But um, I just think that having a golem that can also turn into like a statue, which oh, like, yeah. after That's it's... Cool. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That, that would have been cool. But um, I like the glare because it was a plant and it looked like, oh, yeah, this is, a, this is a succulent buddy. You can bring <laughs> that around with you and it can help you out. So I thought for like quality of life reasons, the I glare was my second choice because they just looked really cool. I like to get like a name tag and call it like floating succulent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a I, little bush guy. Yeah, exactly. I think for me, my second choice, uh, I, do, I actually chose like the, the copper golem, my second choice. Mostly because like I kind of like the idea of the copper golem, like the copper buttons. I think that's really cool. You can really mm -hmm. implement that into like a lot of building ideas. Mm -hmm. um, Especially for more steampunk stuff. Steampunk, that exactly. That easily goes copper, into like, yeah. It's so accessible. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I think a goal. I just like the idea of a goal. When I first, when Iron Golems first came out, I was like, "Yeah, this is so cool. It's so huge. It's something you like, it can protect against villagers and other things. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the only things in the game that actually like support you without you having to like tame it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I, it's like it's really cute and derpy as well. Um, <laughs> it's like half a block, one block yeah, tall. Yeah, it's really cute, and it turns into statues as well. Which for me personally, I have a hard time like building statues like with stairs and slabs and. But it's not like the best thing for me. But I do like for me like I would have chose the copper golem. But the glare is also really nice. It's, mm -hmm. it's also very it's very cute as well. And then I remember they 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 announced the wild update and included oh. in that is mud and frogs. Oh, I think, oh man. man, I can't wait to have a frog room. Literally, oh, yes. literally, you can make all of that with I, a drip leaf, a drip leaf, oh. lily pads, vines, and um, um, the um, glowberries, glowberries, well. glowberries, glowberries, all in one like one room that it's, you can make underground or something. Lush caves too. Is that too with lush caves? The atmosphere you can uh -huh. make is gonna be like. So oh, realistic. building is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And like with the RTX and everything. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, do you, I, I like what I what I like about the frogs? Like they have different uh textures, not textures. Like yeah, textures for different biomes. Oh, I didn't know more. that, dude. Yeah, like I think like the, yeah, for course like the, the frog born in like the snow uh that spawns in the snow is gonna be like white. Yeah. I think the, like like bunnies, yeah, like, like bunnies, bunnies. Or like rabbits, bunnies. They're or whatever basically they're bunnies, but like the like aquatic, no, so like semi-aquatic bunnies, uh, amphibian, amphibious, amphibious, yeah. amphibious bunnies, amphibious bunnies, basically. And then like uh, different colors: there's green, there's orange, orange for like I think orange is like the the swamp. Mm -hmm. Green is like I think probably the plate or I forgot, forest. I what it is. I that makes sense. It. And there was like a yellow, uh, like a sand-colored one in like the desert slash jungle. Yeah. Like, I forgot which one, but I thought it was like really cool because kind of realistic. Uh, also, the mangroves. The mangroves? The mangroves the, and the, like, the new trees as well. Mm -hmm. I saw when I was watching the Minecraft live, the guy who was talking about it, he was so passionate about uh, mangroves. <laughs> like, yeah. He was like, I, like, I do so much research on it. I want to do this and this and this. And I thought it was really cool. I like how their the different textures of roots go down mm -hmm. like really tiny. More and, more revolutionary yeah, for more building. Really, exactly. And you like new, even new wood as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what, do, what do you think of the mangroves? I didn't actually watch that part of the live, but I do think that that sounds dope. Mm -hmm. But, um, what else did they say? Hmm. The, what else, I forgot what else they added. They didn't say, they didn't say a whole, oh, the, the boats with chests. 
bolted chest. The, the, the most, like, boats with uh, chests inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was, yeah. that was, oh. like, <laughs> that should have been as, as happy as it should have been. Oh, my gosh. I, was, I, hope, I hope they have more purposes than the, um, uh, hover mine carts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was, like, waiting for this day. Or, or not hover like, mine carts, but, um. Mine carts like, a chest. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one. Chest like, mine carts. I was, like, I was, like, waiting for this day until it come out, and I was, like, oh, thank, thank God, finally. Let's go. Uh, what else did they add? They added... I can't think of another one. I've been watching... I've been watching Phoenix SC. His stuff oh, is, like, yeah. stuff about the snapshots yeah, and, snapshots. like, all the new updates. Yeah. He made a... He, he was doing, like, crap posting about, like, copper golems <laughs> and glares. And he says, I added them to Minecraft. And his uh, version of, like, the LA was a uh, hopper on an uh, armor stand. <laughs> and it was flying around. His version of the glare was just a, um... What are they called? The the bushes? Those, um, sweet roots? Oh, sweet berry bushes? Sweet berry bushes. Yeah. He made that one floating on, like, an armor <laughs> stand as well. And then his copper, go- his copper golem was an iron golem with, uh, like, Rod on top, uh, so I look forward to more crap posts like that. That's definitely yo, something to see. I was I watched a little bit of Hermitcraft myself, and I was uh-huh. like, I got to see. I didn't see some of the reactions, but a lot, I feel like a lot of the stuff they can incorporate into like yeah, Hermit exactly. Stuff Especially like a mechanics. When uh, Jeb was talking about um, mm-hmm. what's it called? Uh, like seed, like world. When when you update your world and then you go into a new generation oh, part, new and then it like it splices yeah. it in half, like it looks like a giant. Like a gorge or something because like you know it didn't oh, generate correctly. I didn't see that one. That sounds. He, he was talking. Cool. He was talking about how like sometimes that'll happen, but like uh-huh. they fixed it so that world generation is smoother. So that way, if you uh, update your world into a new new version and then you get it to like you know mm-hmm. uh, new new worlds, then uh, in your same world that was from the previous version, then that means that it'll smooth out instead of having the same old like tired generation that oh. like cuts it in half. Oh yeah, because like. Yeah, they, they, they really, they, they basically update everything, like the rivers, the rivers, mm-hmm. rivers are so more, so much wider, the mountains are so much taller, bigger, they almost, they, they, like, they like doubled like the height, build, the build height, right? Oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. was, um, they, they, they increased the size of the caverns by uh, doubling it, but since the Y elevation was only like 60 to 256, uh-huh. increasing it by 100 blocks only increased it by like a third or a half by something like that. Dude. So like the proportion is technically not as high, uh-huh. but... Caves are huge now, ginormous. Yeah. Oh, did you see the, the warden? Oh yeah. That was so oh my scary. god, dude. That was so scary. Oh was my so god, cool. for real. Oh my god, I love like the deep dark cities. That was I didn't expect that. I didn't mm-hmm. ask for it, but I, I love it. It was, it's mm-hmm. it looks absolutely brilliant. Like it's so beautiful, the aesthetic, the feel, the darkness effect. Mm-hmm. I think I feel like that's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> so much. I, I like the new so content. Good. I like the new content, like especially because I remember when I was. Um, I remember when we were playing like Minecraft between like 1.8 to 1.12. It mm-hmm. seems like the, those updates around 1.8 to 1.12 mm-hmm. didn't seem that impactful. Mm-hmm. And now that there's like the the ocean update, village ocean. update, bees now. Mm-hmm. And now the cave it's update. It's so much more colorful. So, it's so much more yeah. junk. It's so awesome. It's so, I'm really excited to see so how stuff content. goes. Like what? What is before? Like uh-huh. like, like what? Five, ten years ago, like. Oh my gosh. Ah, it gives me it's, so hype about it's it. So for real. Cool. Especially, it feels like oh my gosh. I remember playing like survival Minecraft. Yeah, it's endearing, especially when it's vanilla. Mm-hmm. But I like the feeling that this is like modded stuff, like modded, totally yeah. different, totally different, totally new content. Yeah. Like, so. it's a whole new game. Especially, it's a whole new game, but, like, with the same aspects. I forgot what update it changed the textures on, but, um, it when was it was, like, like um... Uh, was it 15? I think it was, I don't, 14 or 15. I guess the time doesn't really matter. Yeah. It, it was in that point in the ocean update or beyond, and oh, yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I'm nostalgic for the black outline around the pork chops, but <laughs> dang, the new textures look awesome. Was, I know. They're, like, chest plates, swords, oh, and kind of, oh, sort of, food it, looks yeah, great. It's, it looks, it's so much gnarly. So it's, it's so smooth. Exactly. It's so smooth. Oh, give me your opinion on like the new ore. The new, the oh, new, the, like, not the, the new de- ore. It's not new. The but, new like, textures. The new textures. Yeah. I like that they kept the diamond ore the same. Yeah, I like that. And um, that's neat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that in the uh, the snapshot releases, people were upset that like um, iron looked like beans and uh, stuff that's like, like that. Like raw chicken or like the old raw chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, I like the idea of raw ore mm-hmm. because that seems like um, oh yeah, that's a nice. So you won't have to fill up twice on deep slate ore exactly. and like normal ore. Mm-hmm. That's a cool idea, 
but um, I can see how people might be confused. Like, I think it was a, te I think it was a te video techno blade uh, live stream. He tried crafting like iron armor with raw ore because, oh, like, you know, yeah. oh yeah, you forgot, yeah. you have to smelt it. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I feel like that's not really. It's just a tiny thing you have to adjust to. Yeah. I appreciate like I, I I'm indifferent about the new ore. I'm indifferent about it. Mm. Personally, for me, I like I like the new ores. I like I like to see change. I like I like something different every now. I like to spice it up. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like, yeah, I'm really happy, like, like you said, with the diamond one. I like how they kept it really classic and nostalgic mm -hmm. for people who those, for all those people who, you know, who love the, the diamond ores, at least you have something. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> to was, fall back I on. Kind of kept the yeah. Same. Yeah. And then, what else? Um, yeah, I just really like them. Though. It's, it's new. I like it. No, no offense to those who don't like it, but personally for me, it's, it's cool. I like it's it. cool. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's nice. I realize we're now at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh. So I appreciate you talking, right. Marcus. Thanks, we're going to see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right, cool.